And we're off. We're off to the races. Hey, welcome to another exciting episode of Six in the City. We're your exciting hosts. I'm Jay Ho, and this is DJ Jazzy Paul. <laughs> I don't know. You are, you're a little bit more excited than normal today. You know what I had? I had uh, chocolate-covered peanuts and root beer. Not together, but they're kind of together now, and they're hitting my system, and I'm, I'm getting all fizzy in my head, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm liking it. Hey, hope everyone uh, is having a good week. I'm having a good week. You having a good week? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Well, I've had a good week. Why? Because the show's on Sunday. Oh, it's a Sunday, yeah. yeah. Happy Sunday to everyone <laughs> from your various places of um, existence, and uh, whoa, what a week that was, eh? <laughs> seemed like it like it was two days long. It seemed like we just got to Tuesday. And the week. <laughs> hey? And the week. Hey, Tuesday. Yeah, I get it. And then and <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. And then right to the end of the week. Okay, um, we have a very special guest for tonight. Uh, his name is Roger Leroy Galloway, and he is our Minister of Parliament <laughs> for Sarnia Point Edward. And he'll be on a little later, but not right now, you sillies, because right now we have a top six list. It's a tradition starting now. So everyone, please be quiet, and we'll read the top six list. Would you like to read it? Do you want me to read it? I'm going to let you read it. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't going to give it to you anyways. <laughs> okay, we have a choice, all right? We're going to read either top six new powers of Superman or the top six features of a new $5 bill. Which one? It's, it's like a democracy, which yeah. is appropriate because <clears throat> this is a, uh, a government-themed uh, issue. It's government-themed. Uh, episode. So I'm thinking, um, even though Roger Galloway is like unto Superman, I say we go right into the... Uh, New five dollar bill. I, I kind of want the Superman. Okay, okay, <laughs> we'll go to Superman because that's kind of the theme is Superman. Let's get it. It's called a segue. Okay, number six, the top six uh, new powers of Superman. Number six can communicate with sheep. Uh, number five knows all the words to Louie Louie. <laughs> that was, I wrote that was good. <laughs> okay, uh, top six new powers of Superman. Number four, really good at Pictionary. That was mine. <laughs> uh, number three, can chew on tinfoil even though he has fillings. <laughs> number two, can consume huge quantities of beer without having to use the facilities. Totally mine. <laughs> that was yours. That was all yours. <laughs> okay, and the uh, n number one, uh, the, the number, the top new power of Superman, number one is uh, super sensitive feelings, which again reminds me of uh, Roger Gallagher. <laughs> Isn't he awesome? Okay, so. Um, I, I'm stuck now. I don't know what to do. You want to do about. another one, or you want to just... Uh, you know what? I mean, we have to save we them. we got to save them. We, we have a limited ourselves. number of those. Yeah. And we've got a lot more weeks to go in the season. We so. do have a lot more weeks to go. How's the hockey pool going? And we don't want to have to write anymore, because that I was enough question. I'm sorry. Uh, real well. Yeah. Well, how do you mean, real well? Like well, it's, it, we had 3,000 people in the Sarnia this week hockey pool. And how many? Three thousand. Well, nearly 3,000. Oh, and, nearly 3,000. Uh, yep. So 2,000? <laughs> 2,900 and something. Oh, that bites, eh? Yeah just didn't quite make it. But it's bad. If only you had sent your entry in, we would have 3,000 people in this <laughs> hockey pool, you lazy resident. And uh, it's a lot of work. I'm going to take this opportunity just to say it's a lot of work for me. Well, But it's worth it. But you know what? Maybe the reason we're not at 3,000 is because you haven't been inputting all the hockey pool entry forms. <laughs> I would just like to say, I gave him entry forms at the very <coughs> beginning, and he... Uh, what do you call it? Ignored them? <laughs> and hit misplaced them. them. Okay, misplaced them. But I found them, them recently. And he, them. And and he put them back in. But I looked the fool for a moment there. Whew. Okay, right now, this has been very exciting, Dave. I really appreciate you as a co-host, and it's been a great time. Right now, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back with Roger Galloway. So please stay tuned. I
Hey, hey you crazy people, you made it back. You're here because you want to be here, because your satellite dish doesn't work and the rest of the shows are reruns. So, welcome back to Six in the City. Man, I'm wound for sound. Okay, right now, without further ado, we had enough ado. <laughs> we had much ado about nothing. And now we're going to invite our guest out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me, the Honorable, the Venerable, Roger Galloway. <laughs> Mr. Galloway. Hello, John. Hi. Hello, Roger. Hello. How are you doing? I'm going to give up my seat. Oh, good. You can have that. love seat, buddy. Mm -hmm. oh, that way we've got you surrounded. Oh, good. Oh, so we yeah. do. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> you were wonderful. Oh, yeah, right. You know what? i got to be honest here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to come clean. Okay. I'm, I'm to on. Totally made up the middle name. Leroy. Leroy. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't know where I've pulled it you were close on the alphabet. Yeah. L? Uh, J. J. So think about Roger it. James Galloway. Wrong. John. Roger John. J O H N? That's it. Well, that's the way to do it, I guess. <laughs> so, um, so, how's it going? How's, uh, how's life in politics? Are you, are you happy? Are you really sad? I'm uh, happy every day. I have fun every day. You have fun every day. Do you yeah. make fun of people, or Sometimes do you just have like, a happiness within you? A happiness within me. Really? Yep. Wow. What's the most fun thing you do on Capitol Hill? <laughs> I, I don't think you can put it down to one item. I tricked him. Yeah. Capitol Hill is in the States. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're, living, you're living on the border. People often say that. Oh, okay. So you're not alone. You're wrong, but you're not alone. <laughs> um, what is the, mo the most fun thing? I don't think you can narrow it down to one thing. Every day is fun. This, I'm, I'm really lucky to have this position. It's... Because I kind of picture you as sitting in your office reading letters. <laughs> Silly constituents. <laughs> no, no, you can't be that way. Uh, everybody's concerns and problems are important. I'm serious about that. I, you know what? I believe you. <clears throat> You're right. But uh, do we have fun? Yes. Uh, but, you know, Parliament Hill's a place of gossip, rumor. Yes. Uh, but, we, yeah, we have fun. Uh, can, you, can you let us in on any of the rumors that are going to... Well, what, what, what are you looking for? Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I spoke it as Juicy. a true a journalist, dirt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dirt, well, dirt in what sense? Well, I don't know. I'm scandal? doing the interviewing now. Can you give us a scandal? No, there's no scandal on oh, Parliament Hill. Goodness. There's no scandal on Parliament Hill. You're being way too diplomatic. No, no. Uh, it's a, <laughs> Parliament Hill is about personalities. You know, you forge friendships with people. Other people you, you ignore, or, you know, whatever. Any, any rumors about people jumping ship to another party? No. Starting their own party? No. Boy, that would turn heads, wouldn't it? <laughs> for about, about 15 minutes. The Johnson party. <laughs> <laughs> it would only work for 15 minutes. Oh. Now, there is rumor, uh, now that you've said that, there is rumor about one person coming over to the liberal side, but I don't want to identify them. I, don't, I won't even narrow it down to a party. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do hints, though. <laughs> yeah. This tall, glasses, no chin, <laughs> right? Yeah, you've just, you've just identified half the opposition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. <laughs> um, Roger, we've done some uh, some some research. Oh, good. The Kojiko Station has a research department, mm -hmm. very well funded. An entire library, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We'll show it to you. And um, we're just going to go over like a short bio of Oh, you. good. Okay, All just right. sort of, uh, this sure. is... Good. This is Roger, as we know him. Yeah. Right? Um, uh, in your youth, you worked on a fishing trawler in the North Atlantic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You went from there to uh, a job as an editorial cartoonist in Saskatoon. It was then, Regina, actually. In Regina, yes, sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. we had that wrong. And then jumped right into politics. Well, that's right. right. That's the most direct route. Well, yeah. now, what would you say is closest to politics? <laughs> a fishing trawler or a cartoonist? <laughs> Living. Every day is closest to politics. Huh? I got into politics through uh, the usual route, uh, which you've more or less described. I mean, there, there is no background. There, is no, uh, cri there are no criteria. Um, I started in the... Mid 70s. I was I was living in town. I had just graduated from law school. I was working in a law firm here, and I started working on campaigns for the Liberal Party. Uh, I think the first one was probably 77 or 78, and one just becomes, 1978. Yeah. Okay. Um, one becomes more involved with each campaign. It's it's a virus, if I could put it that way. So I found that I love knocking on doors. I really like it. It's fun to go up to a door, and knock on it. And find out who's living behind there, and what they th what they think about politics or about your candidate or whatever. And um, so, as each campaign came, I would become a little more involved. So I started knocking on doors in my neighborhood, sort of thing. The next the next election, I started 
uh, doing three or four or, or working with other people to make certain areas where canvas. And it's just a progression. And then in 1991, I, be, I ran municipally. In, you know, I live in Point Edward. And I ran for mayor. Everybody said I would lose, and I won. Uh, and that was sort of the springboard, if I could put it that way. Um, it, it's, I tell people that, that sort of this public life or politics, whatever you want to call it, is a virus. And uh, the more you do it, if you like it, you know, it becomes um, quite time consuming. And in 1993, when it was evident that there was an election coming, I had some people come to me, uh, what I would term some people who have worked in a lot of liberal campaigns in this town, and said, we think it's your time to have a run at it. So I so ran. You had a run at it. I had a run at it. And here I am, nine years later. So if it's a virus, what would you consider the side effects of said virus? <laughs> yeah, you'd have to ask my wife that. You start <laughs> scratching behind the ear. No, it's it's um, it's a it's a it's a great. Uh, once again, I'll say seriously, it's a great privilege to have this, and I'm I'm serious about that. Uh, but the the important thing I I believe is is not to take yourself to seriously. You have to take people's concerns and their problems seriously. But Ottawa's a funny place. You know, you go there, a lot of people go and they quite like it. They're quite puffed up. Um, they love the idea of going and having uh, cocktails with a bunch of people they've never met before. Um, you know, I tell people I'm from Point Edward. I'm not quite that sophisticated. Um, so they, they get embroiled in their life in Ottawa. And that you know, doesn't interest me all that much. You're not an embroiling type of person. No, I'm not. Nope. Uh, um, now, wait a minute. Now, Roger, you've got kind of a reputation, though, as being a bit of a maverick. Uh, is that uh, well, you that's, say that's accurate? Or? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's accurate, but that's, you know, you have your, these well, we read monikers, it the these monikers are, are, are ascribed to you. Uh, what can you do? Uh, but I don't, I don't think of myself as a, you know, I've been called a rebel, I've been called a maverick, I've been called all sorts of names of that type or sort. Uh, I don't think, I th uh, sadly the state of politics at the moment is is that if you have an, op an opinion that is five degrees difference from the government, then you are um, somehow a rebel. Uh, this riding is pretty unique because we have a lot of concerns here that resonate in Western Canada. It's all around the business of petrochemicals and, re and, and refining. And often laws are passed which are deemed punitive and in fact are punitive of our local industry, and sometimes you have to stand up for that. Hmm. Uh, just last week, are we okay with that? Are, um, just, are we going to go to a break? I think we're going to go to a break. Well, I'll just have to hold <clears throat> that question. Just hold, hold yourself, <laughs> hold that question, and we're going to throw to a break. You see how exciting this guy, Roger? Yeah, right. He's the man. <laughs> this is the fastest. You know what? We've had other people on the show, and nothing compared. Okay, we're going to throw it a break right now, and we'll be back in a scant second. So stay tuned. Six in the city. The moving image is an amazing thing. It helps us to understand our past, witness our present, and imagine our future. Through Cable in the Classroom, Canadian teachers can enhance the learning experience of their students with educational programs that engage and enlighten. And they're provided free to schools by cable companies and programming services. Log on to cableeducation.ca. You'll find everything you need to get started. It's a big world out there. We bring it into the classroom. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> oh, we're silly. You know what? And if you notice the interview, uh, we have got Roger right, again, right on the ropes, and he is sweating. We've got some hard-hitting questions, including the whole middle name thing, which apparently touched off a nerve. Um, now, Dave? We're going to throw it right back to you because you had an interesting question. Well, no, I was just going to ask Roger because he was sort of in the middle of the storm last week with the uh, with the vote on uh, elected uh, committee chairs yeah. and uh, the, a lot of Liberal Party members, including yourself, um, I guess voted uh, against the wishes of the Prime Minister. And uh, I'm wondering what you think. Was, was that an evolutionary step? Was that anything? Actually, I think it was a big step in terms of the uh, changes within the House of Commons. Uh, we are the only parliamentary system of, uh, of British style that has remained unchanged since 1867. Uh, the only thing we've really seen is that we have seen the evolution of committees, but that's, that's a natural progression. But in terms of the governance of those committees, it's a huge step. Secondly, uh, in terms of our system, no wonder f so few people vote in general elections because they don't feel this institution called parliament is terribly relevant. Uh, the, the Senate itself uh, hasn't, has, has seen but one change 
in 135 years. Pretty mm. astounding. Anyone ever tell you you look like Mackenzie King? <laughs> I think you're Prime Minister material. No, but I once had a lady in a restaurant <laughs> who'd had far too much to drink think that I was Ed Broadbent. But anyways. <laughs> Well, that's not bad, too, actually. That wouldn't be prime minister material at all, though. Uh, that's, a, that's a very... I, I have one more uh, point. Do you think uh, that Pierre Trudeau would recognize his Liberal Party right now if he were to look at it? It seems to me like it's it's moved, uh, like everyone... Well, that's an interesting question, but, uh, you know, the one, the one constant in the Liberal Party is the idea that it will be flexible, that change is the constant. And uh, so, yes, I do think that Pierre Trudeau would recognize the party today. I mean, the, the same could be said... Uh, would Louis Saint Laurent recognize it? Would Laurier recognize it? Would Would Alexander Mackenzie recognize it? I don't know. I, but the, the, the Liberal Party has been the party of change and shift, uh, of opinion, and of principles. So it it has moved with public opinion. Sure, it has. The, and it's the, moved the to center the, right. the, the center has shifted right. Okay. Very no good. question about that. Are you done now? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. You're okay. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to take over here. <laughs> All right, Roger. Oh. Speaking of opponents, <laughs> yeah. um, who would you say is your most venerable opponent? We're not talking marital status. We're talking, <laughs> uh, we're talking on Parliament Hill. Who's, a, who's someone that comes to mind as, well, even though that guy is in the wrong party and totally wrong at everything he does, I respect him because, because of what he stands for. Well, I, it's, it, in Parliament itself, there's some, there's some people who stand out as very good speakers, excellent speakers, because you have to understand that most of the speeches given in the House of Commons these days are written by a bunch of 24-year-olds in a minister's office. It's just garbage is what it is. The people stand up and read these speeches. The only thing they prove is they could read. Uh, so when, when you see people who's, one fellow who's just left and gone to the Senate, sadly, George Baker hmm. from Newfoundland, fantastic speaker, could get up and half the time he would be quoting documents and, and speeches and stuff. He was making it all up. but. Um, <laughs> Fabulous stuff. There's this tradition on the East Coast, in, in particular in Newfoundland, of of speaking, of public speaking, and, and this guy was the best of all of that. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know, another person who I think is an excellent speaker in the House is Joe Clark. Uh, he's got a lot of experience. He's been there a long time, and he understands the institution, and he knows how to spin, push, shove, whatever. Yeah. He's very, very good. There are two examples that, that come to mind. A lot of people, there's a lot of bluster, there's a lot of bravado, but there's not much content. What would you want people to say about you when you retire or <laughs> when you win your millions? <laughs> oh, right. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do, <laughs> have them say, Roger Galloway, oh, well, let me tell you. What would you want, what would well, you want think, your... Uh, you know, this is, uh, federal politics is much different because I started in municipal, uh, and so when you're in municipal politics, you can see the effects of things immediately. You can make decisions and, and sure. they're implemented immediately. Um, this job is more about influencing public opinion. So you can go out and I do a lot of talking on divorce. But, uh, not that I've ever been divorced, but it's something that I've got into through a committee. So I go across the country periodically and go and speak to groups uh, in various places. Uh, so you, you have this bigger platform. And I, what I would like to think in the end is, is that I've somehow changed the role of or the way people view members of parliament that you don't have to be welded at the hip to the, the, the party brass, mm -hmm. that you can have an opinion that reflects what you're hearing or what you believe. And I think that's the really important thing in all of this. Um, I've had, you know, I've been at this for nine years, uh, and I still enjoy it every day. I still have fun every day. Um, I think I've moved maybe the line a bit on things such as consumer issues. Uh, certainly on the issue of divorce, I've, I've moved it a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been... You know, there have been things that, that came from Sarnia that have, have grown, such as, the you know, strangely, Prime Minister's grave sites. It's now a national program um, uh, across the country. Uh, it's something that didn't exist uh, three or four or five years ago. And we started that? And it, well, well, it, came, it, came, it came to me uh, yeah. through a fellow in town, yeah, because Ale Mac Alexander McKenzie, the second Prime Minister of Canada, the first Liberal Prime Minister, represented this town. And the gravesite was basically being ignored. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, the gravestone was over 100 years old, and it, well, it was difficult to read it. So with all the, uh, with the changes, mm -hmm. you know, you're not welded to, uh, as you said, the, uh, the party or the dictates of your leader. Yep. Have you ever had uh, the big guy come down and say, <laughs> hey, hey, you Galloway, no more from you, no. my friend, before I smack you. <laughs> no, I've never had that. I've had, uh, I've had one occasion where a fellow who, was a friend and was a minister at the time came and 
had lunch with me and sort of heartily and heavily suggested that I should not take this position I was taking, and I just told him to get lost. <laughs> to get lost. Yeah. Uh, well, forward. I used two words. It, it may have been get lost. Yeah. It could have been get yeah, lost. Yeah. Take off <laughs> yeah. could have been in there. Well, it might have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah Roger, was. you have yeah. a profile across the country, though, because you were telling us earlier, so this is something that maybe Sarnia residents wouldn't realize, that you actually have been asked to appear on uh, numerous talk radio talk show hosts yeah. across the country. Western well, you know, talk shows, particularly in Western Canada, are everywhere. There's some really big ones. I do um, the Dave Rutherford show, which is, you know, for this for a Sarnia market would be deemed a little right wing. But I sort of bring it back to the center, I'd like to think. Red uh, Wing? <laughs> yeah, Red Wing, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of shows. I, I probably do one a week out there. I did one Sunday night from Vancouver. Uh, uh, Calgary, Edmonton, Regina, and Vancouver. Big markets. This The QR77 out of Calgary is the biggest in Canada. And are you kind of the voice of the Liberal Party when you're on these well, shows? It's, yeah, it's, the idea? Well, no, I, uh, you know, depending on what the, the subject is. But... <laughs> But what, what you find interesting is that people will call in and say, you know, I, I, I want to agree with you, but you're a liberal and you're from Ontario, and therefore, <laughs> get out of here. You can't be right. <laughs> you can't, I just, I don't want to hear anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, plus the other thing that probably ticks them off is that you speak French. Uh, well, <laughs> we don't do that at Calgary. Oh, no, 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 no. But it, it's a, it, it gives you some appreciation of the size of the country and also for the difference, regional differences in the mm -hmm. country. Okay, speaking of regional differences, Roger, we have a date with Preston Manning. That's who we're going to see right mm -hmm. after we're done with you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what uh, we can expect from uh, our friend Preston? <laughs> no, what, if, if you're going you soon, I... <laughs> well, I, I Is he allergic to nuts? <laughs> 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 oh, well, he might tell you very quickly, John, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Preston Batting, what I know of him, and I, and I have met him on occasion, uh, he's a very, very nice man. He's a very decent guy. Um, and he's an ex-politician, and he's written a book. That's what ex-politicians do. Once they get out, they write you a gonna book. You're going to write a book? I doubt it. Oh, that Maybe could be a, a good book, book yeah, Roger. Yeah, right, yeah. That'd um, be a good book. I think what he's going to do when he retires, he's going to do the game show circuit. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood Squares, Jeopardy, yeah, yeah, right. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. The Center yeah. Square, Roger Gale. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Former MPP of Ontario, <laughs> Roger Galloway. Yeah. Only one P, please. <laughs> oh, that's right. You know my mistake. That's right. MP. We'll, we'll worry about P MPPs later. You right. know what? We can yeah. edit that out. Yeah. We'll edit that out. We'll take oh, I'm, I'm so relieved, John. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Roger, um... Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. We want to thank you from the hearty bottoms of our hearts <laughs> for uh, being on our show, and uh, we hope to have you on again uh, sometime very soon, maybe okay. when you're Prime Minister or something. Well, I'll be ready. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, that's all the time we have right now for Six in the City. And, oh, i got to pay my bills. Thank you, Dave. We want to thank The Brick for the lovely furniture. We want to thank Zares. We had fried chicken tonight with salad and all sorts of stuff. It was delicioso. And TN Home Building Center for the, uh, for the great set that we built. And don't forget, if you want to call us on our talk line at 332-TALK, 332-T-A-L-K, and tell us whatever you want to tell us. We're probably going to ignore it, but there's a chance we might not. Okay, so um, call that line if you have absolutely nothing else to do. Otherwise, have a good week. This is John Hollingsworth, Dave Paul, and Roger Galloway saying... Coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank, thank you very much, very much. Susan. Thank okay, you. great. Hello. Okay, all right. Oh, you actually do have unsung. I do, so. yes. Okay, thank you. Hope you enjoy That's that. That's great. Very, much. very nice okay, to meet you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, good, good to see you tonight. Yeah. Just open that right okay. up there. there right, go. Right, right. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Okay, there you are. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Six in the City fans. We're here at the Sarnia Auditorium, the public library, with our special guest, Preston Manning. Preston Manning was here uh, touting his book, Think Big, and signing autographs, etc. And we caught him, actually, uh, right after all the action. Preston, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. So, uh, how's the book tour going? Well, pretty good, I think. We've uh, gone to lots of places and explained what the book's about, and people what? have been very generous. What is the book about? Well, it's a story of how a small group of people tried to change the national agenda using the tools that democracy gives mm -hmm. everyone, freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom to start a political party if you don't <laughs> like the existing ones, and, sure. uh, and kind of how it worked out to 
accomplishments as well as the mistakes. Sure, and everybody makes mistakes, right? That's true. Now, uh, along with that, you've also uh, you got to travel a lot. You've been on radio shows. You've been on television. I think you were on This Hour has 22 minutes. I've been there, yes, I have, in yeah. the past. <laughs> okay, in the past, and you've also been on Air Farce. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh, what was your favorite? Well, I uh, I guess, well, I like them both. They're different, but I, I like the Air Force has those skits that are planned, so at least you know what's going to happen. In 22 <laughs> minutes, you have no idea what's going to happen. It's more living by the seat of your pants, right, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, now, I understand from our research department that you're planning into uh, going into Olympic synchronized swimming. Is there any truth to uh, that? No, or? there's no truth to that. My daughters were all in synchronized swimming, but, uh, oh, but not, you're, not me. No. You're totally staying out of it. That's right. Just that's let right. the daughters that's grab right. the glory right. from there. So um, what's in the plans now? Where are you going to go to? Well, uh, I'm doing work uh, with the University of Toronto. I'm a guest visitor there and uh, University of Calgary. And uh, I'm also on a couple of think tanks that are working on public policy. So I can. So you're do, still in? I'm doing public policy work, but not from a partisan angle. A, part, a partisan angle. So you're dabbling. Uh, yeah, Can we say dabbling? Well, you could say that. You're dabbling. Okay. Um, what's the most exciting thing that happened to you as the guy, you know, in the day? What? Give me some stories. It's, it's something funny, something exciting that you can say, Whoa, remember the day when that guy was up there talking and his fly was down and the entire country saw it? Well, no, in the 97 election, uh, somebody sent us the liberal red book before the prime minister got it. So, oh. so we managed to unveil the little platform <laughs> four days before he had planned to. So that, <laughs> no. that was sort of a fun day. He wouldn't like that very much. Yeah, no. um, what advice would you give, uh, say, a, a young guy, a friend of mine, whose name is Dave, um, is going to start his own political party? Oh, yeah. And um, what advice would you give him? Read the book. To read the book? Yes. Okay, so for... <laughs> For, what is it, $40? $40, yes. $40.95, he can read the book, and it's basically like a, a map, it's a, a manual, blueprint. That's right. Yes. It's a manual. That's right, a manual. For starting his own, for starting his own yeah. party. You yeah. think it's possible to start a party in this political climate? Oh, well, it is possible, yeah. It's a, yeah. Lot, of, a lot of work. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. You need a lot of energy? Oh, you do, you do. What about a sense of humor? Well, that would help. That yeah? would really help. Yeah. Why do you say that would help? Well, because there's a lot of funny things that uh, happen, and I think... Uh, a lot of politicians take themselves too seriously, so it doesn't hurt to be able to laugh at yourself and your own group. Well, sure, sure, if you can make poke fun at yourself, I guess. That's true. Well, that's fine. Um, why don't you ask, ask me some questions? Because I'm sure you're burning with questions. Okay, how did you vote in the last election? Reform. Well, actually, excellent, actually excellent. Canadian Alliance. Oh, did you? Part. Very yes, good, I did. very good. That's the only question I have to ask. <laughs> Why? Because now we're buddies? Is that it? <laughs> no, that's very good. Yeah, so what was, you, what was the main thing that concerned you? Or what concerns you now? If you had to pick one issue that you would like to see Parliament... He's got do, me. Do These something. are good questions. Do something, not just talk about what would it be. I, I think uh, I, I would want them to be responsible for what they for what they do. Okay. They got to answer for their actions. Yeah, that's interesting. This, these are good questions. I, I, I thought he was going to ask me what my favorite color was. What's your middle name? Uh, my middle name is uh, Preston. Ernest Preston. Preston. Preston Manning. No, it's Ernest Preston. Yeah. Oh, that's way different. So Ernest Preston Manning, that's right. and uh, there was another famous Ernest Manning. Yes, that's right. My, well, my father was a uh, you know, long time. Uh, Premier of Alberta. So. Sure. Now, was his name Ernest Ernest Manning? No, his was Ernest Charles Manning. Ernest Charles Manning. I see this guy's an Alberta like <laughs> We're crazy. Right, yeah. well, thank you very much for uh, for being on our show and for helping us out. And good luck with your book. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for Six in the City. You guys have a good week. See you. Hey! I did it. What'd you do? I <laughs> got Preston Manning to sign. Straight from the heart by Jean Chrétien. <laughs> it's awesome. Totally fooled him. Totally had him. In the best. What did he say? He said, hold on, I haven't read it. He says, oh, uh, if you're stupid enough to think that I'll sign Jean Chrétien's book, you belong in the Liberal Party. You didn't fool him at all. Well, I guess not. Is this a library book? <laughs> yeah, actually it is. You probably shouldn't have done that. Hey, I didn't write in it. Preston Manning did. <laughs>